Good morning, it's Friday the 20th of January and this is the Phoenix Blue Update brought to you this morning by Tom Colley. Today is the uh, uh, inauguration of new President Trump. Um, that's going to dominate the whole day. Um, let's start by looking at the news yesterday and ahead to what else is today and then we'll, we'll talk briefly about the inauguration. Okay, um, so yesterday we'd had employment and unemployment figures um, out of Australia overnight, um, which were a mixed bag. Uh, we then had the e, uh, ECB, or the Eurozone, uh, minimum bid rate and ECB press conference. As anticipated, there was no change here. Uh, Mario Draghi um, said specifically that there had been no talk of tapering of the QE policies. Um, he suggested that um, disquiet quiet from the Germans overrising inflation was something that they would have to put up with and that the inflation was predominantly driven by uh, rising fuel prices. Um, so the net result from that is we didn't see a great deal. It's somewhat what the markets expected. Um, so the volatility around that time was relatively limited compared with what it could be. We also saw out of the state's manufacturing index and unemployment claims that also came in nicely. Uh, crude oil inventories were ahead of forecast, um, but crude's been relatively quiet this week, so again, nothing too drastic there. Um, overnight UK time, we had a speech um, from the Fed Chair Yellen. Uh, this was at Stanford University and was more of a technical question and answer section, session rather than something that traders would react to. Um, so again, we didn't see much reaction to that. Overnight, however, we've also had um, GDP and industrial production out of China. Um, the GDP has risen for the first time in two years, which is a positive um, sign. But we've also seen a, a drop below it, um, forecast on industrial production. And we can see now over the last three periods, sorry, oh, oh, it's now 0.2% below what the uh, December number. Going forward today, we've got retail sales on the pound at 9.30 and then we've got CPI and core retail sales from the Canadian dollar at 1.30 p.m. Um, all those I would suggest that today are going to um, fall into insignificance relative to the inauguration of what will be uh, the new President Trump. Um, Although this will be somewhat of a gala event, there is expectation there'll be a lot of protest because there's still a lot of disquiet uh, amongst um, the population about um, Trump as president. In terms of timings, um, be flexible on timing simply because the event obviously is a live event and times can slide and what have you. Um, the inauguration itself, the process where he swears on the Bible, etc., etc., begins at... Uh, midday eastern time which is 5 p.m uk time immediately after that he's due to give uh, an inauguration speech this normally is very much a uh, uh, a presidential type speech about personal goals about looking forward and being optimistic however with donald trump um, who knows what he'll say, who knows to, whether he'll stick to the script that he's written himself. Um, so be cautious around that time. We'll be looking to uh, close any pending orders and secure any positions um, really early afternoon UK time. Um, we may see very little volatility from this because very little significant may be said. But every time Trump's spoken um, since his election... Um, whilst he was the nominee, uh, or whatever the Americans call it, we've seen quite a lot of volatili volatility in that area. Um, we'll then be looking forward to see what he does immediately and how markets react to those uh, initial moves uh, in terms of policy and what have you. Okay, over to the charts. Um, well, we've seen a recovery from the dollar um, since Tuesday. We're still above this uh, 100 spot 70 zone here. You can see we've been testing these um, early or late 2015, 2016 highs over here um, through recent times. Um, we are still bullish, the dollar. We will remain bullish as long as we, st we, we don't close below this level. So uh, let's call it $100 here. 
Um, so it will be interesting to see how the inauguration today affects this and how um, going forward um, the first few weeks of the presidency or the new presidency um, and the new policies come out and how the markets react to that. Um, traditionally, they look at a president's first 100 days, so the first three months um, through to mid-March, no, mid-April, um, is going to be um, a significant period to see how the markets perceive the ongoing picture from the Trump presidency. Over on the yen, we've seen exactly the same sort of price action. Um, we're t testing levels from, again, around the same level. Um, we remain bullish this chart, bearish um, US dollar JPY a weakening yen. Um, we would hope to see um, in due course a break of this level here and the downward long term downward trend line there um, to see um, this market moving further to the long side on dollar strength. That would be matched um, by euro weakness. Um, we're in a trade here at the moment. Um, we've taken profits off the table and um, price has come back somewhat. Um, hopefully we'll stay in that and we'll see some dollar strength through the inauguration and not take it to the downside. But we've no risk on the table, so that one is a free trade at this moment in time. Um, we do see more downside uh, as a bias on this and we see a target in this trade of around um, parity um, with the euro being equal to the dollar. Over on the Aussie, this is another trade we've been in. We've been in earlier in the week. We got in at this level here and um, shorted the market. We took uh, our T1 target, profits off the table, stop at break even. Overnight, we've been stopped out, um, but we are back in the market. We appear to be now retesting this trend line at around the same level um, that we um, were targeting for this trade. This trade through here in the week was an intraday entry and more about reacting to price action. This is a level um, end of day type trade, so the order was there overnight in place. We can see we've had a look up into that area and price has so far rejected that area. Bear in mind this is a daily candle and we're only at about uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, so obviously we can't draw any conclusions um, from that um, until the end of the day. One other thing that uh, we placed an entry on um, last night was platinum. Um, we've got a serious level through here. We saw uh, a low test rejection from that level. Um, the wick of that coming in and testing all these wicks through here. Um, so a really nice setup on that. The reason for or the driving force behind or the driving intention behind this trade is seasonality. We can see this is the seasonality of platinum over the last 20 years. We can see basically first through the first um, three to four months of the year um, certainly through January and February we've got a really strong move there March um, traditionally appears to be a bit flat but then we've another move um, through in towards the end of April that's what's driving this trade um, we had um, commitment to traders signals at these two uh, areas prior to the new year um, we were actually trying to trade this at that time. We hoping we were looking into um, the start of January to get a head start on that. Unfortunately, um, that didn't happen. But now we've had a clear break above a pullback to a level and um, the possibility of uh, trade to the long side there. Um, you'll see this is my target right up there at 2016 highs. And that would be a potential 9 to 1 um, reward risk trade. Um, so obviously a, the, a lot of potential there. I'm not saying it's going to get to there. We will be looking at other levels such as this one through here um, to take money off the table and look to get back in and add back into um, the market if it does take off to the upside as we see there. Okay guys, short and brief today. Um, be aware of the inauguration. Um, our advice would be out of the market, um, treat it a little bit like a non-farm day, secure all your trades, um, and then look to how that plays out, do your analysis over the weekend, and we'll be back with you on Monday um, to show you how we see the week ahead. Have a great weekend, and thank you for listening. Goodbye.